There's always peace before a storm. Drawing us in. Hypnotizing as we let down our guard. When it subsides, it's calm once again. Yet, appearances are deceiving. The storm has washed away everything I ever had and everything I once was. There is something else now.
scared the shit out of me. Can I help you with something? Uh, yeah, man. My car broke down, down the road there. And I've just been knocking on doors and nobody will fucking answer. Yeah, well. People don't normally open their door to strangers, do they? Yeah, I know. Fucking people, right? They just don't want to help each other. You know, uh... It was cool for you to answer. Thanks. You got it. Well, I'll call you a tow truck. And... Uh, you know, no, 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 no. That's not necessary. I, uh... I just need to use a phone. So it's like, you know, maybe I can come in real quick and... No, I'm afraid I can't do that. Uh... Come on, man. It's, it's freezing out here. And no. it'll just take... It's just a phone call, man. Don't do that. Well, fucking, this is bullshit. I just need to Look, use your phone. There's a convenience store about a mile up the road. What? No. I'm sure they got a phone you can use. No, you can no, 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 no. All right? It's just a phone call. Why are you going to make me walk all the way over there to use a fucking phone? All right? It's freezing out here. I can't help you. No, no. Don't be a dick. All right? I just got to use a fucking phone. My car broke down, and it's fucking freezing. Just help me out, man. Move your foot. This is the last time I'm gonna tell you to leave. Fuck you, fuck you, you motherfucker, fuck you! You should have let me in, asshole. You should have fucking just let me in. I fucking know you're looking at me. All right, I'm not fucking stupid. Hey, everything okay over there? Yeah, everything's fine, man. Hey, 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 wait, 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 man, wait, wait! Come on, fucking cocksucker! Hey, good morning. Yeah, listen, uh, I'm real sorry to do this to you last minute, but I don't think I'm gonna make it in today. Uh, no, I just had some uh, personal stuff come up. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I should be in tomorrow, no problem. All right, thanks. Morning, Stan. Is uh, everything okay over here? Yeah, it's fine. Why? Well, what was the deal with that guy at your door? Oh, his car broke down at the street, I guess. So. Where? Uh, he just said around the corner. I'm not sure exactly uh, hmm. where. Seems kind of strange. I think he just wanted to use the phone. Oh, uh, he came pounding on my door earlier. Not knocking, but pounding. You know, I, I didn't answer. Oh, it's smart of you. Yeah. I probably wouldn't answer for him myself, but he uh, was kind of walking out the door already and he caught me, so. Did you call it in? Oh, no, I did not. Wouldn't really worry about it. You know, he seemed kind of mad at first, but once I told him uh, there's a phone at the convenience store, he seemed like that was fine for me. He went on his way. Hmm. Well, nah, suppose, there's nothing, suppose you're right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's nothing else I got to get going, Stan. Sure, know. yeah, okay. No. Oh, hey, um, Karen wanted me to ask, how's, uh, How's Andrea doing? She's, uh, she's well. Oh, good. good. You know, she's been trying to get a hold of her. Uh, well, Taryn's been trying to get a hold of Andrea. I mean, um, she used to be so good about getting back to her. You know, they, they talk pretty frequently, but uh, she says it's been a couple months now since you know, they... And you know, uh, I'll be honest with you, I really don't talk to her that often myself. You know, we uh, pretty much talk through text these days. So. Okay. Um, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's suppose it's for the best, though. How long has it been now uh, since she left? Uh, I mean, moved. She left about a year and a half ago. God, doesn't really seem like that long. You two ever get the uh, the divorce finalized? Or? Soon enough, though. You know, Stan, uh, I don't mean to be short with you, but I really got to get going. Uh, okay. Not not at all. I uh, sorry to bother you. I just wanted to make sure everything was okay. I do appreciate it. Thanks. Okay. Oh, ah, one more thing. Um, Karen wants to know when you're coming over for dinner. You can tell her soon. I promise. <laughs> She'll hold you to that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, that's it then. I'll uh, I'll leave you to your day. Take care, Stan. Take care.
you should have let me in. I was gonna fucking take it easy on you. But now, I don't fucking know. I'm not fucking sure what I'm gonna do now. You gonna fucking push me to the ground? Huh? Like I'm some sort of fucking, like I'm a bitch? I should fucking kill you. I, I don't fucking like, I don't fucking like when fucking faggots touch me, man. You don't know me. You don't know fucking anything about me. I told you I wasn't gonna ask you to leave again. Wait, what, what, fucking what? You should have left. Are you fu fucking kidding me? Are you, are you fucking threatening me? Huh? Are you trying to fucking threaten me like you're some sort of fucking tough guy? Huh? I got a fucking gun. I'm in your fucking house. You know what? You keep fucking staring at this like some sort of fucking tough guy, and I will use it to shoot your fucking head off. You think I'm fucking playing with you, don't you? What's this? Huh? <laughs> give me your phone. Now give me everything in your fucking pockets. Those fucking keys. Give them to me. I said, give me those fucking keys. Do you want to fucking die? What else you got in the pockets? That's it. All right, now get down on your fucking knees. I fucking swear to God, if you don't get down on your fucking knees, I will fucking shoot you in your stupid fucking face. Good boy, good fucking boy. Is, what? Six fucking dollars? You got six dollars in your wallet? What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Huh? Where the fuck's the rest of your money? Sorry, I don't keep a lot of cash. Shut up. the fuck up! Pick up that fucking money and give it to me. What, oh, I'm so. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this fucking funny to you? Huh? No. No. The fuck are you? Oh. Fuck Eric Linton, huh? Well, I'll tell you what, Eric. You fucking keep mouthing off to me and staring at me like you're some sort of fucking tough guy, and I will show you how fucking funny I am. God damn it, you got so much fucking shit in here. This. What's the fucking pin number to this? 4321. Give me the fucking pin number. That is the pin number. No, it fucking isn't. Nobody uses that shit as their pin number, man. Well, that's the number. You think I'm some sort of fucking idiot? Would it make you feel better if I said it was something else? You better not be fucking lying. This fucking... Whoa, 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 get back down on your fucking knees. Please, give me the picture. I am not fucking playing with you. Get down on your fucking knees. Take everything you want, Whoa. whatever. Just, just give me the picture back. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Hey, get the fuck back down on your knees. Give me that picture. Shut, get, I'm not fucking around with you. Get on your fucking knees right now. Please give me that picture back. What happened to the fucking tough guy, huh? Hey, take anything in the whole place. I don't care. Oh. Just give me the picture. Oh, yeah? Can take, I take, take anything Take everything. I want? Take anything in the whole place. Just give me the fucking picture, please. You know what, Eric? I will take anything I fucking want. I don't need your fucking permission, including this picture. Now stay down on your fucking knees. God, you should have just kept your fucking mouth shut. What the fuck would I want this picture for? I don't want this shit. But you know what? Now that I see how much you fucking want it, I think I will fucking keep it, Eric. The fuck? Are they fucking here? No. Where the fuck are they? They're gone. Don't you fucking lie to me. You put your fucking hands up. Keep them up. If I find out they're fucking here and that you've been lying to me, this is gonna turn out a whole fucking lot worse than you can imagine. I'm the only one here. Hello? Hello? Fucking Eric's wife. Eric's kid. Hey. 
If you're fucking here, come downstairs now, and I won't fucking hurt you. There's nobody else here. If I find out they're fucking here, I'm gonna fucking kill them. And I'm gonna make you watch me do it. Please, give me the picture. Oh, oh, you want, you want this picture back, Eric? Please. <laughs> you're a fucking joke. You know, shit! Ah! What the fuck was that? You fuck! Ah! Fuck! God! Motherfucker! Motherfucker! Fuck! If I don't fucking need you, you're fucking dead. There's your fucking picture. killed you, man. Did you fucking hear me? I know you're a cop. Hey! Did you fucking hear me? I said I know you're a fucking cop, man. Hey, asshole, do you hear me? Did you try to fucking scare me or something? I fucking saw your pig picture, man. I saw you in your pig uniform. 
You're not fucking scaring me, man. What the fuck are you anyway? Some sort of fag? I bet you like tying guys up in the basement, huh? Don't you? What would all your fucking cop buddies think about this, huh? <laughs> shit. <laughs> you guys probably fucking do this shit to each other. Fucking tie each other up and suck off each other's fucking billy clubs. You fucking faggots. What are you doing? You know what? I'm fine, man. Because I'll tell you what, when you fucking take me in and arrest me, I'm gonna fucking own your ass, motherfucker. I know people, right? Tie me up in the fucking basement. Yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna have you fired so fucking fast. I'm gonna sue you for everything you own. Do you hear me? Yeah, I'm gonna fucking own this shitty fucking house and all the shitty stuff in it. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you let me fucking go right fucking now! You let me go right fucking now, and I won't fucking tell anybody, man. What do you fucking say? Oh my, is this about that fucking picture? Dude, it is just a fucking picture, man. You're not going anywhere. Wait, what? No. Fuck, no, man, no. I swear to God, you better fucking untie me right fucking now! Or what? What'll happen to me if I don't? You can't just fucking leave me here. Please, man, I, I'm fucking claustrophobic. Man, I don't like being tied up. You'll get used to it. Wait, wait, wait. No, please, man, wait, wait. Get back here, man, you can't just fucking leave me here. Wait, wait, please, please help. Help me, somebody help me, please. Please! Fuck! Hey, yeah, I'm sorry, I uh, gonna text you earlier, but I got sidetracked. Uh, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Well, listen, uh, I, I signed the papers. Yeah, I can either uh, drop them off with you or if you want me to drop off the lawyer, or whatever's easier. Yeah, I know, okay. You're welcome. Okay, bye.
Are you gonna let me go now? I'm not eating that shit, man. It's not for you. You think you fucking scare me, don't you? There's something fucking wrong with you, man. I know you're scared, Shane. You don't have to pretend, don't worry. No, it would take a whole lot more than this, man. No, it doesn't. Guys like you scare real easily. What the fuck does that mean, guys like me? You know what I mean, Shane. I gotta ask you, is it, is it worth it? Is what worth what? What the fuck are you talking about? I mean, now that it's all over, now that it's all come to an end, it's the lifestyle that you chose. Was it worth it? <laughs> You're a fucking joke, man. What, are you trying to scare me straight? <laughs> You're fucking ridiculous. I'm just what fucking What makes somebody your... tear up a child's picture? I mean, he's just a child. Then fuck him and fuck it up! How did you hurt a child? I've never hurt any fucking children! I hope it was worth it. You're fucking crazy, man. You know that? It was just a fucking picture. Look, man. I'm so, fuck, man. I'm, I'm look. I'm sorry about the picture, okay? Fuck. Look, man. I know you can't do anything to me. All right. So whatever. You could just save this fucking bullshit. All right, and just fucking uh, uh, arrest me or fucking let you me think go. Because I'm a cop, you're safe, Shane. You broke into my house. You assaulted me. Dude, you're, man, you're a fucking cop. You have to read me my rights. If I was gonna arrest you, Shane, you wouldn't be tied up to a chair in my basement. If you're not gonna fucking arrest me, what are you gonna do? Look, man, I said I'm sorry. Sorry? Yeah. Guys like you don't know how to be sorry. You're incapable of remorse. No, no, I am. I am sorry, okay? I got, I got fucking carried away. I shouldn't have torn up the picture of your kid. I fucked up, okay? I know it. Come on, man. It was just a fucking picture. Right? I'm sure you have other fucking pictures. Not like that! This isn't just about the picture. Let me go. All right, I can get you whatever the fuck you want, man. I can get you money if that's what you need. You're not going anywhere. What the fuck? Fuck, come on! What the fuck? I know what I did was wrong, okay? Please, just let me go. Give you a chance to leave, Shane. Yeah, I know, okay, I know, I know. I should have taken it. I should have left. I'll leave now. Look, man, I have an addiction, all right? I'm not normally like this. I just got carried away. Okay, just give me a fucking chance, man. You know, Shane, 
I'm sure you've been given plenty of chances. I don't think one more is gonna make a difference. It doesn't matter. What well, found you anyway? What does that mean? What the fuck does that mean, man? I mean our paths would have eventually crossed anyway. Doesn't matter if it was what? today or tomorrow. Doesn't matter if you broke in my house or not. Eventually, our paths would have crossed. The outcome would have been the same. We are who we are. What the fuck are you doing with that fucking plastic, man? You're all the same. Every one of you are the same. What the fuck are you doing with the plastic? Let me guess, you, uh... Are you gonna fucking torture me, man? Grow up in a poor neighborhood, Shane? Dad wasn't there for you? Or maybe, uh, maybe your mom was a whore? Fuck you, man. You don't know the first thing about me. Maybe, uh, I don't know, your dad was abusive, or, uh... You were sexually assaulted by a cousin or a neighbor. Man, fuck you, man. Or maybe you were a rich kid. Yeah, a spoiled rich kid that was given everything, so now they figure the world owes them everything. What? Is that it? A rich kid, huh? Yeah, man, fuck you. You don't fucking know anything about me, man. I know enough. Every one of you are the same. Your circumstances might be different, but you're all the same. You suffer some adversity in your youth, you cave in because Fuck you're weak. You. Shut up! You cave because you're weak. Your self-pity and your sadness swallows you up and engulfs you and spits out this pathetic fucking thing. You give in to all your urges. You blame everything and everyone but yourself so you can continue to indulge yourself. I know you, Shane. There's nothing unique or special about you. You think it takes strength to hurt people. You think it's strength to take what doesn't belong to you. That isn't strength, Shane. It's weakness. It's the worst kind of weakness. Please, man, just fucking let me go. How many times have you had somebody ask you that? Please. How many times have you taking somebody's kindness and use it against them. What the fuck are you gonna do to me? How many times have they pleaded with you? How strong did it make you feel while they pleaded while you hid behind a gun? Please, man. How many times have you imposed your weakness on other people, Shane? Please, come on, please, just fucking wait. Just fucking wait, man. Wait for what? Okay, think about this, man. This is fucking kidnapping. Kidnapping? Well, this is a lot more than kidnapping, Shane. Please, man. You don't have to do this. Please. You're a coward. No, I'm not. You're a disease. And yes, you are. I'm not a fucking coward! You most definitely are. I mean, you pretend to be all tough and dangerous. <coughs> Look at you. You've been tied up for like two hours and you're crying and pleading with tears in your eyes. Fuck you, man. I'm not, I'm not afraid of you. Oh, yes, you are, Shane. And you should be. <laughs> you're fucking crazy. You know not, that? Not crazy at all, Shane. I just can't let people like you hurt good people anymore. You can't fucking do this, man. You're a cop. Oh, what I do for a living, that has nothing to do with this. This shit's between you and me. Please, man, just take me in and arrest me. Arrest you? No. No way. So I don't arrest people like you anymore. What does that mean? You know what it means, Shane. The fuck, man, you're a cop! I gave you your chance to leave. You should have taken it. Yeah, I know, okay? I fucked up! 
Or if you let me go now, I'll fucking promise you'll never see me again. Come on! Come on, please! Help! Help me! Help! You want Shane? Nobody can fucking hear you down here. <laughs> please. I'll do anything. You are who you are, Shane. It's too late to change that. Well, I can change. No. You'd be hurting people again in no time. No, I wouldn't. I fucking swear to God. <laughs> yeah, you guys will say anything to save yourselves. <sighs> I mean it, though. I really fucking oh, mean it this time. Mean? I've heard that same empty promise a million times. It's not fucking empty. Shane, you're not a man of your word, and you know it. And if there is a God, he knows it too. It's too late now, Shane. Use the time you got left to get right with that God that you swear to. Please. I can't help you.
please. Two counts of aggravated assault, breaking and entering, robbery, aggravated assault, arson, breaking and entering, sexual assault, battery with a deadly weapon, aggravated assault, arson, robbery, drugs, weapons, breaking and okay, entering. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. No, I don't think you do. Do you know what these are? Yeah, it's my fucking record. Not just yours, Shane. In fact, you don't even have uh, arson or sexual assault on your record. 
So you've done so many bad things that you don't even know what all you've gotten away with. These are the records for yourself and three other men that I chose to help you understand who you are. I'm fucking tired of this Too shit, bad. man. The first man's name I read to you is Walter Reed. He's 53 years old. He's doing a life sentence for double homicide. Second man's name is Marcus Smith, doing uh, 15 years for manslaughter. And the third person I read to you is Alan Willie. He's on death row for kidnapping, sexual assault uh, of a minor, and uh, three counts of murder. So fucking what? So every one of these men started out exactly like you. <laughs> they did little petty crimes, they got into drug abuse, and then more and more serious crimes until finally they took somebody's life. I broke into your house and tore up a fucking picture, oh, man. Listen to you. I mean, you act like it's nothing. A person's home is a place where they're supposed to be able to feel safe, and you take that away from them. I take some shit. I steal some shit, man. It is not that fucking serious. Yeah, not to you. You break into people's houses with a gun, you stick it in their face, and you assault them. Who knows what else? Not that, I don't do anything else. What were you gonna do to me once you realized I was a cop? I was just gonna fucking leave. Yeah? Yeah. You had your gun drawn when I took you by surprise coming out of my closet. I was just going to leave. And that's it. You'll do anything to save yourself. If you thought for one minute that there was any real danger of getting caught, there's no telling what you would have done. You're a violent person, Shane. If I was going to fucking kill you, I would have done it right away. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe you would have shot me on the way out the door. I've never fucking killed anybody, man. You know, I don't know if you've killed anybody, but I know you've hurt a lot of people. Your record shows you've been charged with domestic abuse multiple times. What would you have done if I was a woman? I mean, what, what happens when you bust in on a young, attractive woman all alone? What happens when a woman opens her door to you, Shane? Nothing happens. Huh? All right, no, I, I just take what I want. You just take what you want. Yeah. And what is it that you want from these I, people whose lives you invade? I take their valuables. I take their cash. I take whatever I can fucking sell or trade. You know the answers to these fucking questions, man. Why the fuck are you even asking? Yeah, I know the answer to the question, yeah. and I know you're lying. What the fuck would I be lying about? I take what I can sell. I take what I fucking want. You're a liar. You lie to yourself, and that's why you're tied up in my basement. Oh my God, are you my fucking therapist? Is that what this is? Therapy? I take what I need because I can. Simple as that. You don't take out a need, Shane. You take out of your lack of respect for other people. I mean, you think you take just things, but what you take is a lot more than that. When you break into these people's houses, you take their security. You take their happiness take their confidence. The fear and the pain that you leave behind, that has a ripple effect. I am fucking done talking to you. What happens when a woman opens her door to you, Shane? I don't fucking do that shit, man. No? No. You didn't even flinch when I mentioned the sexual assault charge. You're the one who said it wasn't my fucking record. Yeah, but you didn't know that. Your dad spent a lot of money to keep you out of serious trouble, hasn't Yeah, he? yeah, he did. He spent a lot of money, but to keep his fucking precious name from being tarnished. He doesn't do that shit for me. No, no. No, fuck, no. You think if he fucking gave a shit about me, I'd go around breaking into people's houses? Three times. Three times you were acquitted of rape with three different girls. That's right, exactly, acquitted. Yeah, yeah, acquitted. Because I'm sure a guy that has no problem taking what doesn't belong to him and in the meantime just knocks around girls, he would never do something like that, right? Well, just because I've hit women doesn't make me a fucking rapist. Yeah, I guess not. Eventually, though. Eventually, you'd want more, whether it's rape or murder. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're innocent of all these crimes. It doesn't make any difference. But you give in to your compulsions, and one more innocent person would pay the price for your weakness. I could have killed you. 
But I didn't. Yeah, you should have. You know, I even grabbed your fucking pillow, all right? And I put it against your fucking head to silence the shot. But I didn't fucking do it, all right? I spared you. And you want to know why? Because I thought of your fucking kid. I thought about the fact that you have a family and I s controlled my anger. I controlled my anger for your fucking sake. I'm not a fucking animal. Is that right? I could have fucking killed you, but I didn't, man. That's gotta fucking count for something. Please, you don't know me. You don't know what my fucking life's been like. I know exactly who you are, Shane. I've listened to this same pathetic story a hundred times. It's the same every time. I mean, you're sorry, and uh, you'll, you'll change, and you're not so bad. But that version of you only exists right here, right now, when you're hopeless. Give it enough time, you'll end up just like those other men. No, man, I can fucking change. Yeah. Well, I won't take that chance, Shane. Just call my father, all right? He'll, fuck, he'll pay you. He'll give you whatever you fucking want, man. <laughs> Listen to you. You're pathetic. I mean, didn't you just get finished telling me how terrible he is? Yeah, well, he is. But he'll do it to fucking keep his name fucking clean, all right? He'll do it to avoid the controversy. Just fucking, he'll pay you, man. Tell him whatever you want, he'll give it to you. I have what I want. Oh, come on, man, please, man. Shane, you chose the wrong house. Please, man, okay? Come on, I'm fucking, I'm sorry. All right, I'm, I'm so sorry, but I fucking saved you. All right, I let you live. That's, that's gotta fucking matter. I mean, come on, man. I let you live. That's gotta fucking mean something. You gotta see that. I'm not what you say I you am. You have no courage and no bravery in you. You're selfish and you're weak. Well, you're fearless when you've got the upper hand. When you got a gun or you're facing down a woman or a, a helpless child. Every single time you get caught, every single time, it's the same thing. You're all the same. I know exactly who you are, Shane. And the minute you pounded on my door this morning and I looked out my window, I recognized you immediately. I knew exactly who you were right away. And I tried to give you a chance to live then, but you ignored it. You couldn't control yourself. You're too desperate. But I gave you a chance too, man. You didn't give me a chance. Yes, I did. You just made a mistake. This is all your choice, Shane. I fucking... Everything that you've done in life up to this point has led you here. Every drug that you took, everything that you stole, every innocent person that you hurt, it all led you here. I'm sick of your fucking lectures. I'm sick of your fucking questions. I am so fucking done with you. Yeah? Yeah. Well, good, because I'm done too.
fucking make it right. I will make it right. Please. My life hasn't been easy. You fucking know that. You know it. If this is fucking happening to me, it's because you fucking didn't do shit. Where are you? My fucking asshole father. My fucking piece of shit brothers that kicked my ass every fucking day. Because you took my mother. You fucking took her from me, goddammit. And I fucking needed her. Why would you take a mother from a fucking kid, goddammit? I fucking needed her. Please. I don't want to fucking die. I don't want to die. No. 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 You go fucking take me now. Take me from my fucking kid. Fuck you. Fuck you, man. a time when I would have taken you in. You could have broken my home just like you did today. I would have called it in and taken you down to the station. Even thought twice about it. sat there and waited for the other officers to arrive. I'd ask you, why? Why'd you do it? I tried to understand you. Feel sympathy for you. Empathy. I used to love being a cop. I used to be so proud of who I was and what I did to help people. I 
used to love helping people. Even people like you. I'd try to help them out any way I could. The old partner I had used to get so aggravated with me, he'd say, I was a lost cause. I just thought he was burnt out and bitter. He was an older guy in his 50s. He told me one day I'd understand it. See, I used to think if you gave people a chance, then they could change. I used to think at their core, people were inherently good, but they just had bad things happen to them. Next month, it'll be three years since my son gave me that picture. I remember that morning, it was uh, December 3rd. It was a Wednesday morning. I remember it rained a little the night before, so it was uh, a little colder than usual. I remember everything about that day. I remember the smells and the sights and the sounds. I remember almost everything. Every time I smell rain, like today, it always takes me back when I think about that morning. I remember I came downstairs to go to work and my wife and son were already up. You know, and usually they were still asleep when I left for work, but that morning they were up and Andrew was cooking breakfast, just making pancakes and eggs. You see, Matt, Maddie got his uh, school pictures the day before. We went out to dinner and didn't get home till late, so he didn't have time to get him ready for uh, his little friends and for school the next day, So, especially for his little girlfriend. I sat with him for a minute that morning, but I uh, couldn't stay and eat breakfast because I had to go to work. Remember, Matt, he was trying to hide this one from me because he was making it for me. You know, he wanted it to be a surprise. I played along, and I just sat there watching him, and I was thinking how lucky I was. And I really was lucky. I never thought of myself as one of those people that takes what they have for granted. I mean, I, I was truly blessed, and I knew it. I remember thinking, I, I remember thinking I didn't want to leave that day. I remember thinking I should call into work and, and take Matt to school. And we could get a little father-son time because I hadn't had as much, as much father-son time as, as I'd wanted to. My schedule and everything. But to be honest, it was just a passing thought, but I thought it. So I just took for granted there'd be other days to do that, there'd be other days to catch up. You, know, you always think there's going to be a tomorrow or the next time. Still, there isn't. I gave my family a hug and a kiss. My son, he gave me this picture. And I remember he wanted me to read it out loud so his mom could hear. I remember, remember everything. <laughs> he was so proud of it. He said, I love daddy. <laughs> it made me feel like the biggest man in the whole world. And I, I leaned down to hug him and tell him how much I loved him. And he gave me the biggest hug of, that he ever gave me. He squeezed me so tight that he held on longer than normal. He told me to put the picture in my wallet, and he said, so I could always be with you. I chose not to take my son to school that day. And that was the last time I saw my son.
I should have done it. I should have taken him. I should have taken him every single day. I mean, I, I could have changed my schedule. I, I could have done it. I mean, I was his father. I was supposed to make sure. I'm so sorry, man. I, I have a kid. I, I, I can't even imagine. Maddie's bus stop was at the end of the street, right on the corner from our house. And uh, there was always a lot of kids there, so we we felt pretty safe. And uh, sometimes Andrew would watch him go all the way to the bus stop. That day she didn't. That's not your fault. The other kids. Uh, they said a man in a green van drove up. And he said he was there to take one lucky kid to school. I just can't imagine what, what he could have said that would have made Maddie go with him. I, I mean, I, I told him about strangers. I, I said everything to him that I've taught parents to say to their kids. The other kid said he uh, wasn't even scared. The guy called him over closer and whispered something to him that only they could hear. That's when he got in the van. I mean, what could he have said that would have... I've struggled and tortured myself with that every single day since. I mean, what could he have said to him? What did I not warn him about? I mean, if I knew, then I could warn him about it. What didn't I warn him about? I let him down. I was father and a fucking cop. And my son. My son gets taken from the corner in front of my house in broad daylight. I should have been able to protect him from that. I will hate myself the rest of my life for living. Sorry that happened, but I, I don't have anything to do with that. You know that, right? And I looked so hard for him. And I didn't eat, I didn't sleep. I just looked and looked, and no matter how hard I looked, we couldn't find him. It didn't matter how long or how hard we looked for him, we never could find him. Mike, what are you doing so much? What the fuck are you doing, man? Your son looks up to his father. I remember, I had told him. Look, man. I'd always be there for him. I'm sorry. It didn't matter if he was But I didn't have anything to do with that, man. You gotta fucking know that. Look, scary. You were fucking sorry. promise that. But I didn't have anything to do with that shit, man. I never let anything happen to you. It wasn't fucking me, man. I swore to him. It wasn't my fucking fault. I swore not to whatever happened to him. Look, man. And I swore I'm sorry I what happened to there. Maddie. But that wasn't my fucking fault, man. You have to fucking see that. I hate myself. No, oh, man. Look, man, I'm sorry that happened. Okay, but I didn't I have will anything. always hate myself. I wasn't there, man. I didn't do that. And I hate that the last thing my son thought was that I let him down. Well, man, come on. What are you doing? He was terrified and alone. Man, I'm sorry. And I know he cried for me. I'm sorry that happened to Maddie, man, but I didn't have anything to do with it, man. I swear to God, I wasn't there. I hate myself for the rest of my life. You don't have to do this, man. For letting him down. No! No! What are you doing? No! No! God, no! No! This is for my No! Son. No! 